Now, for years, the computer hacker Gary McKinnon has avoided being extradited to America because of a serious risk he'd kill himself. Tonight, Channel 4 News can exclusively reveal dramatic new medical evidence which throws all of that into doubt. It's evidence currently sitting on the Home Secretary's desk and within weeks it will form the basis of her decision on his fate. The new medical report has been written by a psychiatrist who three years ago concluded Mr McKinnon was a serious suicide risk. I've been finding out if the apparent change of heart now clears the way for his extradition. For more than a decade, Gary McKinnon and his mother Janice have been battling to stop the government agreeing to extradite him to America on computer hacking charges. It's a battle which has pitted the UK against the US, prime ministers against presidents. For years, health experts and lawyers have argued about whether he's too suicidal to be deported. To decide his fate, the Home Secretary demanded new medical evidence, and now she's got it. Well, now Channel 4 News has seen that evidence, and it's not good news for Gary, because it suggests he is mentally strong enough to be extradited. What impact has this latest evidence had on Gary's state of mind? In Gary's state of mind, it was very bad, very disheartening, made him feel much worse than ever, and he already feels extremely bad. The Americans say McKinnon is a cyber terrorist who caused almost half a million pounds worth of damage to military computers. His celebrity, media and political supporters say he's a computer geek who suffers from an autistic disorder. They've seized on his case to highlight what they say are one-sided extradition laws. But the new medical report may render their efforts futile. Well, one official here at the Home Office told me the fresh evidence left Theresa May, the Home Secretary, with little option but to extradite McKinnon. Three years ago, a psychiatrist employed by the family solicitor concluded that if he was sent to face justice in America, he was likely to make a serious suicide attempt. The new report, though, dramatically downplays that risk of suicide. And what's really puzzling is, it's written by the very same psychiatrist. A judge ruled in 2010 that it could be unlawful to extradite McKinnon because he was such a serious suicide risk. But if that risk has now receded, the family's case may be seriously undermined. In 2009, leading psychiatrist Professor Declan Murphy interviewed McKinnon in person for the family and stated, If Mr McKinnon is deported to the United States of America, he will require, in my opinion, continual observation on a one-to-one -one basis during that time period and for the rest of his incarceration. If this does not happen, he is likely to make a serious attempt at suicide. McKinnon's mother refused to let Professor Murphy interview her son again, yet in his submission for the Home Office last month, the professor now concludes... We judge the risk of suicide to be moderate. The risk of actual self-harm could be ameliorated by regular contact with mental health professionals. McKinnon's mother wants to know why Professor Murphy has changed his mind, particularly as, at the family's request, the psychiatrist hasn't seen her son for almost three years. Are they actually genuinely going to say, we're going to ignore all the leading experts in the field uh, to take on board one man who has switched sides and done an in absentia report and said it was a moderate risk. Can they really credibly get away with this? After assessing McKinnon in 2009, Professor Murphy warned... He now has a fixed idea, which is currently unshakable, that his best outcome is to take his own life if deported. But in the latest report, Professor Murphy had a rather different recollection of that assessment, reporting that McKinnon... ..did not express significant hopelessness or helplessness, Professor Murphy told Channel 4 News tonight it wouldn't be appropriate for him to comment on a case which is still being considered by the Home Secretary. If all the Home Office has got to say that Gary McKinnon is fit for extradition is the evidence of an expert who contradicts his earlier evidence on Gary McKinnon's vulnerability, I think it's impossible for the Home Office to extradite this very, very vulnerable and suicidal man. There's no property in a witness. In other words, a witness isn't owned by either side in litigation, and either side are free to talk to a witness. The witness is under obligations not to reveal privileged matters or matters that are confidential, but subject to that, there's absolutely no problem, and particularly an expert witness, in speaking to either side. The real issue here is what is the basis for his change in opinion? 
The evidence now on Theresa May's desk leaves her with a political nightmare. In opposition, the Prime Minister backed McKinnon's bid to be tried in the UK, and the Deputy Prime Minister even attended a free Gary rally. McKinnon and his mother are now desperate. He could face up to 60 years in a US jail, a prospect which his mother says has already led him to consider suicide. And I found that that was the idea, that when it was that. totally the end game, but uh, the end game, we've had so many that's supposed to be the end. The end game isn't until somebody likes to decide they're putting them in a plane. So the campaign goes on. If the Home Secretary rules McKinnon has to be extradited, he and his mother will go to the High Court to try and overturn that decision. But neither of them hold out much hope. And we've just received a response from the Home Office. They say the Home Secretary will consider the report alongside all other relevant material and aims to reach a decision as soon as is consistent with dealing fairly and properly with this case. Cathy. Thanks, John.